Hey, in this tutorial we are going to see how to get the glitch effect. But before that let me tell you what is a glitch effect. What exactly a glitch means. See, sometimes you must have noticed some temporary disturbance on the screen. Like the shifting of colors from their places and some kind of temporary disturbance that occurs on the photograph or in the screen. So that effect for a few seconds that color effect shifting of color from their places is known as the glitch effect and how we can get that let's see let's create a document let's grab custom size thousand by thousand and make it pixels resolution let's make it 72 and RGB white background click create ok now let's grab a photograph let's grab Mm, let's take you can take any photograph you want I'm just trying to find a yeah, nice photograph for this let's grab this one let's adjust the size let's make it like this and let's grab the crop tool let's crop the extras you don't want that and hit enter okay so now you have the photograph let's rename it to pick we are going to work with and I'm going to grab my marquee tool rectangular marquee tool to make the selection so let's make the selection for the glitch effect I'm going to grab this part right click layer wire copy I've copied the portion you can see this I've duplicated that part like this okay and I'm going to go to my filters distort wave and over here let's keep the generators to around like 3 and wavelength let's see we have the preview over here like this ok it's looking fine um, scale and amplitude will be fine and type I want it to be square let's click ok see the effect is here ok similarly I'm going to make few more layers let's grab our marquee tool and let's again make a rectangular selection over here right click layer by a copy ok this error is because I have not selected the model bit so let's select that and right click layer by a copy I have the copy now and I'm going to go to my filters distort wave and I'm gonna like adjust it from here like this click ok you have the disturbance let's make few more um, let's grab the marquee we have it and let's make it from it here and again grab the pick right click layer by copy go to your filter distort wave and let's adjust like this click ok and you have the effect let's grab this part grab the pick right click layer by copy and go to your filter the start wave let's adjust it click ok again on the next somewhat not here but at the chin grab the pick right click layer wire copy filter distort and wave let's adjust it click ok let's do the same thing over here grab the pick right click layer wire copy filter distort and wave click OK then again grab your pick mark is there and let's make selection over here again filters distort and wave oops I haven't made the copy I guess yeah so 
grab the pick, right click, layer by copy and I'm gonna go to my filters um, distort and wave let's adjust it like this click OK so this way you have this disturbing line ok now we are going to work with the channels but before that we have to merge all these layers into a single one so let's grab the layers from top to bottom all the layers, the disturbing layers and we are going to right click and merge layer so everything is in one single layer now all the disturbing lines ok now to make the channel effect the RGB channel effect what we are going to do is we are going to copy this layer right click and duplicate layer and over here I'm going to go to my blending options let's turn on red RGB red green and blue we have the channel of red green and blue so I'm turning on red and I'm turning off both the other green and blue so we have this red channel click OK so you can see don't you don't see any effect right now but when we grab our marquee tool and I'm going to slide it a bit you can see the effect isn't that isn't that looking cool again now right click and I'm going to duplicate it you can also use Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer and click OK and this time again I'm going to go to my blending option I'm going to turn off the red and I'm going to turn on my green and blues like this we have the cyan kind of color and click OK again I don't see any effect we can just move it the other way so you can see that red channel and the Cyan kind of color. This way you have created the disturbance with the photograph and with the color, the channels, the RPG channel colors. Okay. So now when you have the effect on your photograph, it's time to give this photograph a more nice looking touch. How? Let's grab the pick let's duplicate this one and I'm going to go to my blending options let's turn off these, let's turn on red and I'm going to slide the slider to somewhat here and click OK let's grab the market tool and I'm going to or I can just use my keyboard arrow keys I'm going to shift the see can you see the effect it's so light ok again I'll have to change the blending options I can double click ok I've got this and I'm going to change this you can see this effect like this let's do it from here also and click OK so you can see this effect the glitch effect on the complete photograph right so this way you can create the glitch effect now let's add some more effect to this complete photograph let's create a new layer right at the top and let's add some uh, first of all let's add white color to it ok let's keep the default colors and now let's go to the filter let's go to after ok we have the pattern now now let's go to lines and let's uh, keep the size as this and let's increase the contrast a bit ok click ok and you have this pattern on a new layer now I'm going to go to my of light you can see the effect and now turn the opacity to around mm, very low around like 50 ok so so nice I can also 
like change the blending options and let's blend this a bit you can see the effect will take place on the photograph but it will be with very light let's make it like this wow what an effect now isn't that looking so cool okay click ok so you have the glitch effect like this isn't that cool they are looking so nice so and also what you can do is you can like make a group and move this over here you can just pick all the three layers in this group and over here let's make a mask see if you want to like erase some part I have created the mask and I am going to select black color with a brush I can simply remove the effects from the part that I don't want if I don't want it on the eyes completely or on the lips I can just erase that part like this so now it's looking so so nice isn't it try it out and I'll see you again in some more cool effects tutorial so see you